in the heart of Southern Africa live the Lembe people, a community that has managed to preserve its unique identity and traditions over centuries. They are a community with a remarkable claim, one that sets them apart from their neighbors and has intrigued scholars for years. The Lemba believe they are descended from the ancient Israelites, a claim that is deeply rooted in their cultural and religious practices. This belief is not just a matter of faith, it is woven into the very fabric of their daily lives and traditions. They have unique practices and traditions that set them apart from their neighbors, including dietary laws similar to kosher practices and ritual circumcision. For centuries, they have kept their tradition alive, passing them down through generations with a sense of pride and responsibility. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of cultural memory and the strength of their community bonds. The Lemba are scattered across South Africa, Zimbabwe and Mozambique, living in small, close-knit communities. They number in the tens of thousands, each individual contributing to the preservation of their unique heritage. Within their communities, they maintain a strong sense of identity Reinforced by their shared history and cultural practices, they have their own language, known as Chivenda, which is similar to other Bantu languages, but also contains unique elements that reflect their distinct heritage. However, their oral histories and religious practices reveal a different story, one that connects them to a distant land and an ancient heritage far removed from their current homes. The Lemba claim is not widely known outside of academic circles, yet it has sparked significant interest among scholars. However, their story has captured the imagination of historians, geneticists, and anthropologists alike, leading to numerous studies and research projects. For those who study the movement of people and cultures, the Lemba present a fascinating puzzle, one that challenges conventional narratives of history and migration. How did a group claiming Israelite descent find themselves in Southern Africa? This question has led to various theories and hypotheses. The answer lies in a combination of oral tradition cultural practices and increasingly genetic evidence that supports their claims of ancient Israelite ancestry. The Lemba story challenges our understanding of identity and the complexities of human history, showing how interconnected and dynamic our past truly is. They are a testament to the enduring power of cultural memory and the interconnectedness of seemingly disparate populations bridging gaps between continents and eras. Their journey, both literal and metaphorical, is a reminder that the past is never truly past and that our histories continue to shape our present and future. The stories we tell about ourselves can have a profound impact on who we become, influencing our identities and our place in the world The Limba observe practices that closely resemble ancient Israelite customs, which have been passed down through generations. These practices have been central to their identity for centuries, forming the bedrock of their cultural and religious life. One of the most striking similarities is their adherence to dietary laws, which dictate what they can and cannot eat. Like Jews, the Lemba avoid eating pork and other foods considered unclean according to Leviticus, maintaining a strict dietary code. This practice sets them apart from their Bantu neighbors who do not observe these dietary restrictions, highlighting their unique cultural identity. 
Circumcision is another practice that links the Lemba to Jewish tradition, a rite that holds deep spiritual meaning. Lemba men practice circumcision, a ritual rarely found among other Southern African Bantu groups, marking a significant rite of passage. The Lemba performs circumcision as a sacred rite, emphasizing its spiritual significance and its role in their cultural heritage. They believe this practice connects them to their ancestors and strengthens their communal bonds, fostering a sense of unity and continuity. Endogamy or marriage within the group is another key aspect of Lemba identity, ensuring the preservation of their unique heritage. For generations, the Lemba have encouraged marriage within their community a practice that reinforces their cultural and religious traditions. This practice has helped preserve their cultural and religious traditions, ensuring that their customs are passed down through the ages. It has also contributed to a distinct genetic profile that has become increasingly important in understanding their origins and their historical journey. The Lemba also venerate sacred objects that they believe link them to their Israelite past, objects that hold great spiritual significance. One such object is the Ngoma Lungundu, a wooden drum covered with animal skin, revered as a symbol of their heritage. The Lemba believe this drum is similar to the Ark of the Covenant, a sacred chest described in the Bible, and it plays a central role in their religious ceremonies. They use the Ngoma Langundu in religious ceremonies, believing it connects them to their ancestors and to the divine, serving as a bridge between the past and the present. Central to the Lemba's claim of Israelite descent is their rich and vibrant oral history, a tapestry of stories and legends that have been meticulously preserved over countless generations, passed down through generations. These stories recount a remarkable journey from a distant land called Sana, a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. The Lemba believes Sana refers to a location in the Middle East possibly Yemen, a land rich in history and culture which adds a layer of depth to their narrative. According to their oral tradition, their ancestors left Sena centuries ago, embarking on an epic journey south along the east coast of Africa, navigating through diverse and often hostile terrains. The reasons for this migration are multifaceted and complex but oral history suggests a combination of factors, including both push and pull elements. Some stories speak of conflict or persecution that forced them to leave, while others mention the allure of trade opportunities and the spirit of exploration that drove them forward. Regardless of the specific reasons, the Limba firmly believed this journey was divinely guided a sacred mission that was destined to shape their identity and future. They see themselves as a chosen people, tasked with preserving their ancient traditions and cultural heritage in a new and unfamiliar land. The journey from Sina was long and arduous, filled with numerous challenges and dangers that tested their resolve and unity. The Lemba oral history recounts these challenges in vivid detail, describing encounters with hostile tribes, treacherous landscapes, and moments of divine intervention that provided hope and guidance. These stories emphasize the resilience and perseverance of their ancestors, who overcame these formidable obstacles to establish a new home in Southern Africa a testament to their enduring spirit. The exact timing of the Lemba migration remains uncertain, shrouded in the mists of time and oral tradition. 
However, linguistic and archaeological evidence suggests they arrived in southern Africa sometime between the 13th and 15th centuries, a period of significant historical transitions. This period coincides with the decline of the great Zimbabwe civilization, a powerful kingdom in the region that left an indelible mark on African history. Some scholars speculate that the Lemba may have played a role in this civilization, contributing to its cultural and economic landscape. Although more research is needed to confirm this intriguing connection.